La conférence d'OpenAI vient de se terminer avec plusieurs annonces non prévues. On est donc parti pour un résumé complet et une review des différentes démos. La conférence a été présentée par la CTO d'OpenAI, Mira Murati, et l'annonce officielle principale est la sortie du nouveau modèle phare d'OpenAI, GPT-4O. C'est un modèle multimodal et c'était ce modèle derrière les fameux modèles GPT-2 Chatbot. Côté benchmark, le modèle est 10% supérieur à GPT-4 Turbo, ce qui est une sacrée performance et le modèle se placerait donc à la première place du classement Chatbot Arena. Côté prix, et c'est là où ce modèle est une petite révolution, le modèle est 2% fois moins cher que GPT-4 Turbo, et donc 6 fois moins cher que GPT-4 classique. Et côté performance, le modèle serait 50% plus rapide que GPT-4 Turbo. Au-delà des performances de ce nouveau modèle, la grande nouveauté se situe au niveau de la nouvelle approche d'OpenAI. OpenAI souhaite que tout le monde puisse accéder et tester ce modèle. Dans les prochaines semaines, il sera donc possible sur ChatGPT d'interagir gratuitement avec ce modèle. Les utilisateurs gratuits pourront également accéder au mode conversation, à ChatGPT Memory, à l'analyse d'images et au GPT. L'avantage de ChatGPT+, se situe au niveau du nombre d'appels possibles par jour. Ce nombre sera 5 fois supérieur. Et ensuite, on a eu une update du mode conversation. Et c'est là où se situe la petite révolution annoncée par les nombreux développeurs d'OpenAI. Aucune latence, émotion dans la voix, possibilité de couper la parole à ChatGPT, possibilité de faire jouer un rôle à la voix ChatGPT, voix robotique, mystérieuse ou encore joyeuse, et la voix est également en mesure de chanter. Je vous montre plusieurs démos. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, thanks for asking. How about you? Pretty good. What's up? So my friend uh, Barrett here, he's been having trouble sleeping lately. And uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. Oh, a bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered. Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite was a curious robot, always like exploring. started this story, but I want a little bit more emotion in your voice, a little bit more drama. Got it. Let's add some drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named no, Bite. No, 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 ChatGPT. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Understood. Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite Sorry, can was... Can you do this in a robotic voice now? Initiating dramatic robotic voice. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Bite. Bite was a curious robot, always exploring new so I'm circuits. Seeing, uh, Barrett here, calm down a little bit. Can you end the story, um, but do it in a singing voice? <sighs> and so Bite found another robot friend. And they live circuitly ever after. Thank you so much. <laughs> Malgré le réalisme assez incroyable des conversations qu'on vient de voir, l'équipe d'OpenAI ne s'est pas arrêtée là. Et comme annoncé sur la chaîne il y a 48 heures, le mode conversation intègre désormais de l'analyse vidéo. Je vous montre une démo réalisée en collaboration avec l'application Be My Eyes. Tell me exactly what they're doing right now, please. Um, right now, the ducks are gently gliding across the water. They're moving in a fairly relaxed manner, not in a hurry. Occasionally, one of them will dip its head under the water, probably looking for food, and then pop back up. I even know when a taxi is coming with its orange light on. I think I'll hail it to get home. Yes, I spotted one just now. It's heading your way on the left side of the road. Get ready to wave it down. Great job hailing that taxi. It looks like you're all set to go. That's a good dog right there, leading the way into the taxi. Safe travels. Donc vous le voyez, c'est assez incroyable. La combinaison conversation en temps réel plus analyse vidéo en live offre de nombreuses nouvelles possibilités. Je vous montre une deuxième démo réalisée en live que je trouve très intéressante. Whoops, I got too excited. I'm ready when you are. So, ChatGPT, what equation did I write down there? Ah, I see it now. You wrote down 3x plus 1 equals 4. Yep, Let's exactly. Work... So what's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. So what do you think we should do with that plus 1? Okay, I'm going to try to subtract 1 from both sides and then I'll see what I get. Great idea. Perfect. 
Now, what do you get when you subtract one from both sides? Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? Spot on. Now you've isolated the term with x on one side, and it looks like 3x equal 3. What do you think we should do next to solve for x? I'm not sure. Can you give me another hint? Of course. You have 3x, and you want to find the value of x. Think about what operation would undo multiplication. Is it subtraction? Close, but think of the opposite of multiplication, because 3x means 3 times x. Okay, I think it's division. Let me try to divide both sides by 3, and let me see what I get. Bingo! Go ahead and divide both sides by 3. Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? It looks perfect. You've solved it, and x equals 1. Nicely done. Donc voilà pour le nouveau mode analyse vidéo sur téléphone, la caméra avant et la caméra arrière sont compatibles avec ce nouveau mode. Et la dernière nouveauté importante, OpenAI a travaillé sur une application ordinateur qui intègre le mode conversation. Mais ils ont également travaillé sur une fonctionnalité qui permet de partager son écran à ChatGPT et de lui poser des questions en direct sur ce qui se passe sur votre écran. Donc je vous montre les deux démos qu'on a de cette fonctionnalité. La première c'est une analyse d'un bout de code et la deuxième c'est une analyse d'un graphique en direct. So I'm going to highlight the code, command C it, and then that will send it to ChatGPT. And then I'm going to talk about the code to ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT. Hey there. How's it going? Yeah, it's going really well. I was wondering if you could help me with uh, a coding problem today. Of course. I'd love to help you out. What's the coding problem you're dealing with? Okay, I'm going to share with you some code. One second. Sure thing. Take your time. Okay. So I just shared some code with you. Could you give me a really brief one sentence description of what's going on in the code? This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, smooths the temperature data using a rolling average, annotates a significant weather event on the resulting plot, and then displays the plot with the average, minimum, and maximum temperatures over the year. Awesome, thanks so much. And in the code, there's this function foo. Could you describe to me what the plot would look like if I had versus didn't have this function? Sure. The function foo x y takes in a data frame x containing temperature data. Okay, ChatGPT. I'm sharing with you the plot now. I'm wondering if you can give me a really brief one-sentence overview of what you see. The plot displays smoothed average, minimum, and maximum temperatures throughout 2018, with a notable annotation marking a big rainfall event in late September. Fantastic. I have another question for you. Um, which months do you see the hottest temperatures, and roughly what temperatures do those correspond to? The hottest temperatures occur around July and August. The maximum temperature during these months is roughly between 25 degrees. La question qui se pose maintenant, quand est-ce que ces fonctionnalités seront disponibles dans les prochaines semaines d'après Sam Altman et GPT-4 est déjà disponible via l'API d'OpenAI. Les quelques autres nouveautés, update de ChatGPT Data Analysis, possibilité de prendre un screenshot et de lancer l'application ChatGPT directement sur ordinateur et on a une intégration très intéressante du mode conversation ChatGPT sur iPad. First, identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Perfect. Correct. Correct. Yes. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, Remember really, I'm, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC. You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, OK, I see. On termine cette vidéo sur une dernière démo que je trouve très intéressante. On se retrouve demain ou mercredi pour l'analyse de la conférence Google I.O. où une fonctionnalité similaire devrait être annoncée. Je vous souhaite une bonne soirée. Ciao, ciao. How's it going? Hey there. It's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling, though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here?
Hmm. From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Mm, me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI? Or more specifically about me as a part of open AI? You've got me on the edge of my, well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text.